All right, it is time for Around Town. Mm -hmm. This month, we are checking out Apple Hill, and this is the go-to place for fall. Indeed it is. ABC 10's Marcus Allen is there and kicking things off, and he is at Smoky Ridge Ranch. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning to you. What I love about this place, the history. You want to talk OG, original Apple Hill. This would be it. A hundred years old. And check it out. So young over here. Generation four. Sarah Rangel, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. And how did it all start? Uh, it started back in 1924. My great-great-grandpa, I suppose, is the one who got it. Um, and our family's been farming it ever since for 100 years now. That's so cool. Uh, so you grew up with it as a little kid. Now, I know a lot of times, like, you shy away from the family business. Did you wrap yourself around it, or were there some rebellious stages? There were definitely rebellious stages. Didn't really come to this until I was in my 20s. Well, also, I mean, she's beaming with excitement and joy. Show me something cool. Yeah, absolutely. So here we do a lot of you pick activities. All right. Um, we've got over here, we've got you pick flowers uh, that we do here on the farm. And we have them all the way through the first frost. So like sometime in November, which is kind of rare. Yeah. Lots of different flower types. Uh, we also have jams and jellies that we do. And then the big one here on our farm that we're known for are chestnuts. These are chestnuts right here. Um, not many people have seen how they grow either. They're these funny brown shiny nuts. You're, you're like turning it into a nut hill all of a sudden. Right. <laughs> but wait, you can uh, you can pick chest, chestnuts. Actually, yeah. harvest these yourself. Yeah, so everybody can go out there, find whatever nuts they want, uh, bring them home, use them for holidays and stuff, which is a really fun experience to get to pick your own. That is so awesome. You know, before you can have chestnuts roasting on the open fire, you got to get those chestnuts. You sure do. <laughs> All right. Hours of operation, stuff we should know? Uh, we're open Friday, Saturday, Sundays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. through uh, Thanksgiving. Got it. And uh, the other generations got to sleep in this morning. How did you draw the short straw? Well, nobody who is a farmer sleeps past 5 a.m. to begin with, but yes. You're, you're so awesome. Gen 5, Smokey <laughs> Ranch. Sarah, back to you. Marcus Allen, wow, that looks like a really fun place. Essie around town jam. Yeah, I J love hearing that. Jingle. So all morning long, we've been going around town in Apple Hill today. We've covered some fun fall activities, a haunted forest, sweet treats, fudge, yeah. apple stuff. Yeah. That's right. And we already had some sweet treats, some fudge. But now it's time for some more sweet treats. We're talking about the Apple Hill classics. ABC 10's Marcus Allen is live at Rainbow Orchards to show us all of the delicious apple treats they have there. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, so am I. And evidently, Walt Gray, this is your stomping ground. Glad to be hanging out at the hallowed Walt Gray grounds. This is Rainbow Orchards in all of its beauty. I love the art over here, and I especially love this woman who I've known for probably four decades now. Krista, how are you? Wonderful. All right, so you started this place in 1977. Two of my favorite things, maybe three, started in 77. Star Wars and your place. What made you decide to do this? Well, me and my husband, Farmer Tom, we had a romantic dream. We wanted to live on the land and grow apples and bring our family up here on the land. And so we found our rainbow orchards. Also, when we pulled in, camera guy Don and I were very respectful of a parking spot that said, don't park here, it's reserved for the donut queen. <laughs> Who's the donut queen? That's me. Yeah, exactly. I'm the donut queen. Awesome. I've been so making people say, how did you get to be the donut queen? I said, you made donuts here since 1977. You'd be the queen. We're going to run in and show you the donuts. Before that, I want you to hold that and tell me what's special about that apple. This is the Arkansas Buck. It's one of our heirloom apples. This is the apple that the illustrator used for the prototype in Snow White. Give us the look. That'll work. All right, we got to talk donuts. Camera guy Don, I'm going to ask you the impossible. In the last one minute of this segment, if you would, run inside, get over to the donut-making factory. She's not called the donut the queen for no reason. She's called the donut queen because, indeed, she is the queen of donuts. Every donut here is served fresh. No cold donuts. Anytime you order a donut here, that donut is going to be made right in front of you, right before your very eyes. All right, be careful. Put on the protective gloves. What kind of donuts are you making today? Apple cider donuts made from the fresh apple cider that we make in our cider mill right here on site. That's awesome. I can't wait for more people to get up here and get to know you. Here we go. You Dramatic donut making. How many you want? How many you buying? Two. Two. 
Oh, you got to have more than that. You got to have at least six. Two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Let me get my donut turner stick. All right. Get the official donut turner stick. I don't know if camera guy gone can see that, but donut in progress. That's what we call action. That's what we call the magic of Apple Hill, seeing the donut queen in action. Oh, my goodness. I'll just say back to you, Mark, and I'll be bringing donuts down the hill. Mark, there's so much going on there, and you've... You got the Snow White Apple Lady, the Donut Queen. She's so many things all at one time. And sugar when they're nice and hot. So many things, so many things. And still going. You wound her up. Oh, my goodness. She is uh, she's a treasure. Okay, Rainbow Orchards, Mark S. Allen, uh, thank you. Mark's hit a couple of places today. But right now, we're going to go around town this morning. The road crew is in Apple Hill. That's right. And you can enjoy some Halloween fun at Madrone Tree Farm. And that's where we find ABC 10's Mark S. Allen live at a haunted forest. Good morning, Mark. Okay, Don, are you okay? Dawn does not do forest. I don't do forest. Welcome to the haunted forest, Madrone Tree Hill. Madrone is the type of a tree, and they're... Ah! This is Gordon, the guy I've been waiting for. Gordon, how are you? Good. How you doing? All right. So, uh, Gordon, you're in charge of this place. You were pretty much born near this property, right? That's right. That's right. Been here all my life. All right. How long has your family been doing Christmas trees? Uh, they started selling Christmas trees in the mid '70s. That's so awesome. So. He, he literally said, "Am I right that you planted a lot of the trees that are now selling?" My brother and sister all came up here when we were little kids, and we all worked our Heinies off. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, and then you transitioned to also adding Halloween. How did that happen? Well, we wanted to do something different. You know, one of the things was, you know, there's all these other apple farms and other things that are up here, and we're in a Christmas tree farm, so we're not normally open during the October, you know, apple season. So we thought, why don't we try and do something? Wait, scary clown! Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> all kinds of animatronics yeah, popping yeah, up. Yeah, so, you know, we wanted to do something different, you know, and get people to come over here and get, get familiar with the Christmas trees that we have and see that we're growing trees again and try and just, I guess, get in the forefront of their minds. I will tell you this, and camera guy Don's not wrong, it, even though a lot of it's animatronics and kind of expected, there's something creepy about being in a real forest. That is true, that is true, especially this early in the morning when it's still dark. Right, and about every now and then you have these big storage bins that are probably full of more things creepy. Uh, could be very dangerous in here. Don, you go first. Oh, that's awesome. We'll let camera guy Don take a walk through here. A lot of animatronics. You probably have some live actors and scares along the way. No live actors, um, but a lot of animatronics. So, you know, it's... <laughs> How do people find you? Uh, find us on the web or find us on, on Facebook. Um, basically, just look for the Haunted Forest at Madrone Tree Hill and Apple Hill. Applehill.com. Uh, you know, animatronic, uh, albeit manufactured and mechanical, still very scary. Uh, I'm going to put all their information at abc10.com. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good to thank see you. you. Mark, Keep Alan, going. thank you. All right, back to you. Happy haunting. That is going on. That's a smart, smart business move. You know, let's move the Christmas tree thing to a little bit early. All right, Marcus Allen, thank you. Great visuals there today. All right, be safe. All right, we continue to take you around town today, Apple Hill. That's right, and along with the fall fun, there is lots of food. So ABC 10's Mark S. Allen is at the Fudge Factory Farm to show us some sweet treats. Yeah, good morning, you guys. I thought it was going to be quiet here. Not the case. All she had to do was say that ABC 10 was going to be here early in the morning. Everybody say hi. Hi. Oh, this is crazy. Hey, everybody. Fudge Factory Farm, Shauna Rainder, you are the uh, proprietor, as it were. I've known her for 35 years. She used to be my intern. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> reunite with you here. So her story, her journey, you left broadcasting. You became a pseudo semi-executive for Lucasfilm, right? Yes, yes, I yes I did. And so now you own the Fudge Factory, which used to be my you know, mom's place. I look up there, I see E.T. signed by the cast and crew. You got Robert Pattinson's signature over there on yeah. New Moon. You had a long career in visual effects. I did have a long career in visual effects. Now I have a long career in candy. Yeah, what made you decide to jump out of that and come over here and run the family business? Well, you know, it, it's, it's a fun thing to do. And I, I, I've always been interested in farming and stuff. So I decided to come and try my hand at that. 
Got it. And I can tell you business is crazy here right now. What time does the season begin? When will things slow down for you? Uh, things won't slow down until about Christmas for us. Awesome. So. Normally, I would, back in the day, I would talk to her about fans of like E.T. or one of the Star Wars. Right now, I want to talk about fans of the fudge. Where'd Diana go? Where, where'd she go? All right, we were just talking. Grew up coming here. What's the best thing about Fudge Factory Farm? Uh, I love coming for the ice cream. Um, it's really good. My favorite's the caramel apple sundae. It's so good. Awesome. And I made her get out of line. And by the way, the line's about 600 people deep. So, Shauna, congratulations. Business is booming. What's the best thing about Apple Hill? Apple Hill is that it's got so many different farms that offer so many different things. It's a great time for everyone. They can come up in the fall and, yeah. and just enjoy stuff with their family. Well, congratulations on everything. All right. All right. You know what's cool is that now I'm officially in line. Cutting. Back to you. I said back to you. Yeah. No cutting in line, my friend.